Dramatic re-entrance to the spirit temple. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Yeah, I got everything set up off camera. I'm here as a kid, as you would expect. And I noticed that there is a couple boulders there. I don't believe I can blow up these because I think they're the wrong color to blow up. Or maybe they... Oh! Goodness. Silver rupees off the bat, you tricky SOB. <laughs> And that means... what? Or maybe I need the item of this stun... oh, never mind. That was weird. I thought the explosion hit it. Hmm. Ah, oh, whatever. Alright, any more silver rupees? I'm not saying that they're, like, around inside these pots or anything like that, which I would highly doubt, honestly. But is there... Act should I actually be collecting these as a kid, or is this an adult-only section? I... oh, there's a... <laughs> Bombable rock there, maybe? What's oh, an ice switch? Um, is that something that I does? Hmm, I thought that was actually gonna turn off the water. But yeah, I think that other path there leads to uh, the adult side of the place. Uh, I got a key, oh, that was definitely something that I should have done. Alright, let's go over here and meet up with this lady. Who are you? I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Well, I I am kind of would like to see the temple at the moment. You're just a kid. The temple is no place for kids. Well, okay, fine. I I would like to see the sages. <laughs> a sage? I don't know anyone like that. Um, I could have swore you're supposed to be able to get through there. Huh? Uh, did I forget the event that occurs here? Uh -huh. uh, how about nothing, really? <laughs> oh, okay, that was the thing I was supposed to select. <laughs> well, that makes a lot of sense. No, dear lord, no, I'm not. Uh, yeah, ooh, I'll... <laughs> I will take him down later. Nice to meet you, Nabaru. Um, I'm not necess- I mean, yes, I am a thief. <laughs> well, that's not good. There's never any need for that kind of violence around these parts. Or even in the world. Oh. Nor would I. So it's kind of surprising that more people didn't rebel against Ganondorf in this place. You know, among the Gerudos. Yeah, sure, why not? Silver gauntlets, huh? Ooh, they seem to be something that, uh, why? Why not? I mean, oh, okay, I won't. <laughs> All right, I guess I could go get them for you, Wink. <laughs> really now? That actually does sound like something that's good. Sure, I'll do that. Oh yeah, teamwork, baby. This is quite the long-winded conversation. <laughs> Okay, now let's go inside. It is pitch black. Ah, there we go. This is the child side of the temple. There's actually two sides of this temple. One you do as a kid, the other one you do as adult Link. You can't access this side as an adult, so yeah. Hey, it's a slugma! And aren't you supposed to be more vulnerable? You're not vulnerable to my sword? You're kidding me, right? How about if I blur to blow you up? Ah, that works. That works nice. Holy poopers, I'm glad I did not have a Deku shield at that time. And why are you not vulnerable to my poop? <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a good idea that I didn't get a Deku shield. And I actually was planning on getting a Deku shield before I came in here. These guys have got to be weak against something. Oops, no, I, I just wanted to keep my lock on. That's why I held the L button during the cutscene. Let's just try... No! 
Well, what are you vulnerable against as a kid anyway? Can I like Deku nut you? Yes, I can! That's sort of helpful, but that doesn't make you vulnerable in the slightest. Um, am I gonna have to bomb all you guys or what? No, not not you. Well, I guess I could do you first. <laughs> I just don't want your friend to reignite, if at all possible. Yeah, I don't really have much more that I could use against these critters as a kid. They were very vulnerable against my sword as an adult, and hmm. Well, that takes care of that. Yeah, I, at least I don't think I have anything. I'm sure they're not vulnerable to Din's fire, or at least I don't think they are. Anyway, what's this do? Uh, it turns off the fire. I guess I could have turned that off earlier. But those slugmas are in the way. Um, should I... Three paths now. Should I go down the door? I open this path or this way. I think I'm going to take this way. I hope the enemies don't respawn. Ooh! Hello. Was that an Anubis? Yeah! <laughs> it's just right in front of my face. And it's actually coming towards me in the cutscene. It's the dungeon map! Something extremely handy for my ever extremely lost self. <laughs> yeah, if you target this thing, this is an Anubis. It's vulnerable to fire, she says. So the best thing that you can do is either use fire arrows or Din's fire, just like so. Uh-oh! I see some keys. That's gonna ignite them, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh! Fiddlesticks. <laughs> Well, at least I don't have a Deku shield. Uh, I'll probably go and get one just later on. Just because, you know, for the fact of 100% completion of having any everything in my inventory. But I didn't even bother coming in here with one because pretty much all the enemies just go right through the shield. And, well, yeah. Um, is there anything of interest in this room... Well, there is that keys over there that I haven't killed yet. Um, that gives me a treasure chest on the other side. But what does that do for me? I can't cross to the other side. And I didn't see Navi like flashing green or anything like that. And I definitely cleared this room. Hmm. I don't believe I... Let's just hit it with a slingshot bullet. There's <sighs> freaking torches in the way. <laughs> See if I can dislodge this. Nah, I, I didn't think so. Alright, I'll come back here later. This doesn't seem like the place I need to go yet. Fire is active again, but that doesn't really matter in the slightest. As long as the sl slugmas aren't there. Um, There's that thing in my way. Well... How about if I were to do this? Voila! <laughs> Good old bomb shoes. Okay, they're only useful for a couple things. <laughs> so I got the key from the first room. This looks like it's going to lead me to something new. Oh my goodness, a megaton hammer spot. That I can't use as a kid. So that means I'll be able to come through here as an adult again. Um, apparently. <laughs> or at least I think. So let's go up here before I go down the route of the key. Uh, I got some Gibdos, I suppose. Um, you can ignite them on fire, by the way. I guess I'll demonstrate... <laughs> I'll demonstrate this. No! Freaking flaming mummy! <laughs> Ow! Hit my face right on the gravestone. Let's just... Uh, let's ignite them once again for the... Heck of it. I think they do two screams at one time. I think that did it. Delightful! Um, I can get that boulder with a bomb chew, I suppose. Yes. Yeah, you gotta kind of angle it to hit the bomb chew off the wall. That one I'm going to have to use a regular bomb and time it. Well, yes, I'm going to pull those gravestones forward. Don't worry. I just need to clear the way first. Oh, that was so close. Ooh Come on! The smoke was hitting it. 
Nope, a little too soon. I probably could hit that with bomb chews, come to think of it. Like, have everyone zoom across the room or something like that. There we go. That gives me absolutely nothing. What? <laughs> Wait, actually, you know what I should be doing? Is I have truthing everything around here. That's maybe what I should have done in that other room that seemed like it was going to be a dead end. Ah, well, anyway, let's pull these things forward and see what comes out of it. Mm -hmm. There's a switch. Press switch. Switches are good. Ah, that lowers those gates. But... How do I get across there? I don't know. Maybe that's to come back? Maybe? I... Because I, I obviously don't have the long shot, so... Well, let's see if the other gate in that other room also lowered when I hit that switch, just for the fun of it, because that looked like the same kind of gate. No! Okay, let's just go through the, the locked door through here. Apparently... Ow! I am not meant to go through those two paths, unless I'm missing something, which I could very well be. I mean, this is Master Quest we're talking about here. I've only been through it once, as I said before. And I've never 100%ed it before, so this will always be interesting to me. Okay, we got a switch here. I might as well tick that to see what... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's a like-like! Evil! Evil! No! I think it got me off the wall. It doesn't have anything to steal, though. Uh, please don't infinite loop me. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Come on, just do your sucky thingy. There you go. And I am going to attack you and then go to the other side of the room hopefully safe no safely <laughs> such a tricky critter and this is such a tight room too that is the meanest enemy placement ever eh. Eh. no no i beg of you please do not nibble on my soft fleshy self no 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 it's it's kind of hard to even you know, get an idea of where I am in relation to him as well, because of this... R the room layout is so tight. <laughs> well, there we go. Um, I assume that since this opened the gate that was up here, if I don't even see where the gate was, because it plopped the thing right on my head. <laughs> anyway, we've got... Baby the Dongles. You don't really get posed much of a threat nowadays. Then again, you never really posed much of a threat. <laughs> and there we go. All they do is explode, really, and that's not much of a thingy. And that's a deck. Oh wait, that's not. A, that's a mirror shield, or I should say, a light panel. Uh, okay. I'll just destroy this thing. Maybe I'll be putting a little light onto. Oops. I'll be. I mean, I'll be illuminating that thing, perhaps. This gives me yeah, a little treasure chest, so this could very well be a key, perhaps. Maybe. Could be. Might be, I would hope so. It's bomb shoes. So that means I probably need to use them in this room. Something on the Ah, something on the wall indeedly do. How about if I like attempt well the wall's kind of like angled. I'll just drop it here and see how it goes. Yeah, that that's what I thought. See the wall's got this slight texture texturing to it and it's gonna throw off my bomb shoes. How about if I were to angle it like this, maybe? Will it go up there? There we go. Much, much easier. Ah, and that's how you illuminate that thing. And a treasure chest appeared up there? What? <laughs> I don't have access to such items that would allow me to get up there. Or at least I don't think I do. Am I... Missing something? There's Navi turning green over there, but I think she's just telling me about the sun panel thing. Um, Navi? What do you have to say about... Yeah, I'll check it. Show me the lights! Yeah, I thought so. Uh, what? I have to be missing something. This is preposterous. Mm, 
anything in my inventory. You know, the boomerang doesn't do anything. Oh, wow. Hey, what does the map say about this place anyway? This is... Hmm. See that right path off that middle room there? That's the adult side of the temple. And they all sort of kind of join up, but uh, later on I'll only be able to access the adult side. Yeah, you get the idea. Okay. I must be missing something. I clearly can't, can't use Pierre if he is the solution to this puzzle. <laughs> I didn't see Navi turn green as a hint for the Song of Time blocks that typically inhabit these areas, so... I don't know. I'm just gonna try the Song of Time for the fun of it. Nah, I didn't think so. What am I missing around here? Well, I can hit that Gibdo in this room with Din's fire, apparently. I don't know if that's something that'll help me. Because I see that there's another one, yeah, off over there, and hmm. Just for the fun of it, is it possible to bomb chew through this pit? Oh my god, it's possible! <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. But okay, that's what I am going to do. See that boulder? Okay, maybe I have to be a little bit faster with my throwing here. Because I'm right near the edge and that's aimed perfectly. Oh my god, that's the solution? Unbelievable. <laughs> there's no way to bomb you all the way around the room. It takes far too long. And oh my god, there's some a glass blocks now. Well, just one glass block. And that's why you have to pull these tombstones forward. That makes a whole lot of sense now. Whew. Very tricky. Very tricky indeed. And I'm just gonna Din's Fire this critter. I don't feel like messing around with it. It only takes two Din's Fire hits to kill it. So I might as well. It doesn't really seem to get stunned during the cutscene either, which is pretty strange. It's like, it takes a hit, but it doesn't, like, stay within the invulnerability period other enemies would stay invulnerable for during a cutscene. You get the idea. And, oh my goodness. <laughs> what is this room? Staffles. Staffles. Why are you here? And I don't have a shield. This is a tragedy. Or not. <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. Okay, that stops all the fire in the room. Mm. Wait, I already got the Lens of Truth out. I am being an idiot. I just want to check through this here really quick before I get ahead of myself. Okay. Just hop over... Wait, is this the right? This is right, right? Yeah, this is correct. This... There's another tombstone there. There is this treasure chest. Key, key! Yes! All right. And what, let's see what happens if I pull this. I bet you this is going to lead me, a, I mean, give me a shortcut. It's going to drop that thingy back down. Yep, that's just what I thought. I am a genius. <laughs> All right, so now I am able to go, ah, go back through this room. And I assume that the treasure chest that I can't get as a kid in uh, this upcoming room. Come on, camera, there we go. Because you see, I'm going to be coming through here as an adult anyway. Please no, please no like-likes. Okay, ah, that makes me very happy. <laughs> I assume that the tre <clears throat> treasure chest that I plop down into this room will be... Wait, actually, if that switch resets every time I leave the room, how am I going to be able to hit that switch from this side to be able to hit that switch down below? Ah, puzzles! You are a clever sort. Anyway, I think I'm going to end off this part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.